Hey, welcome back to the Shoe of Lovers. I am uh, beginning the Bible again today. So I'm in Genesis 1, and this is an olive and tav, a standalone olive and tav that I had skipped over because I didn't know the significance of it. So I thought I'd show this one to y'all today and see what you think about it. It's in Genesis 1, and... It's in verse 16, which I'll read the English for it, which starts right there. Then Elohim made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. These words in italics, they're not original words. They were stuck in later. So when it's appropriate, I just leave them out. <coughs> But this Aleph and Tav goes with Kochavim, Ve'et HaKochavim, which is, and the Vav means and, and the stars. Well, I went to our handy little blue letter Bible and looked up Genesis 1.16. And this is what comes up. Here's our standalone olive and tub right here. And we'll go down. We know that Kochavi means stars. But let's go a little deeper. Like I love to do. Alright. Kochav. Right here. So we're going to click on Kohav, and it comes up as in the sense of rolling kava, in the sense of blazing. All right, well, that's nice, but then I always go to Strong's, check out what Strong's has to say. Probably from the same as H3522 in the sense of rolling. A star, as round or as shining, figuratively, a prince. That's interesting there. Or a stargazer. <clears throat> but I wasn't satisfied with that. So I went to show outline of biblical usage. And voila. It's star first, but then the A says of Messiah. Brothers, youth, numerous, progeny, personification, God's omniscience. So, Kochav, which means star, has to do with Messiah. So, I thought that was interesting enough that I would show y'all and make a video. So, that's that, folks. Love you guys. I may be... Uh, Hitting on some ones that I didn't know the significance of more this time reading through. So, I will talk again to y'all later on. Hope you're having a wonderful week and Lahitra Oat.